welcome to everybody. Thanks for being here with us today. I'm Matt Astleford. I'm the Vice President for Advancement here at St. Mary, and I'll be emceeing today's program. So as you may have noticed, the space probably looks a little bit different than the last time you were here. Thanks to the generous support of many of you in this room, the DePaul Library is now the Kelleher Learning Commons, a premier center for student engagement, peer-to-peer -peer learning opportunities, and student development. So we're gathered here today to bless the commons and celebrate the positive impact this space will have in the lives of our students. But before we do that, I want to invite Danielle Dion up here to tell you about the vision behind the creation of the commons and the reasons why this place is so special. Danielle is the Vice President of the Keller Her Learning Commons and Student Development. Please join me in welcoming her. Welcome. So do you want to take a journey with me? Yeah. So in 2014, um, I arrived and um, wanted to see what the students of the University of St. Mary needed um, in terms of their library services. So um, colleagues and I here at the University of St. Mary, we did what we felt we needed to. We put huge post-it notes up around the um, first floor of the library and we asked the students what they wanted. Now, we did get some really interesting ideas, a bathtub. Um, we also got a Starbucks, which we were happy to oblige. Um, we did get some other um, ideas in terms of collaboration spaces, um, spaces for clubs to meet, um, a space where students could hang out. Um, we also received information um, from the students that they wanted to be able to access the library resources from off campus. So we looked at what we could do, and over the course of the last five years, we worked together with many, many different groups across campus, um, different construction companies, the football team came quite a bit to help us, and we started transitioning the space from the library to the learning commons. So now in the space that you're at, we have spaces where students can study alone. Um, they can study together in groups. They can check out technology to make a video. They can um, check out laptops if they need them. They can check out iPads, um, camcorders, all kinds of technology. And I am so pleased to say that while you may not see the physical books, we do still have some, we actually have more books than ever. And that's because we purchased ebook collections that are related to the disciplines that the students are actually studying right now. So we have a health sciences ebook collection. We have an undergraduate um, academic ebook collection. So we have um, books all around, um, and we have ways for the students to access them. Um, we wanted to be very careful with purchasing items um, 2014 and on that could be used by all students. So students who are here physically in Leavenworth, students who might be taking an MBA that they are never going to get to Kansas, and also students who may be over at the Overland Park campus. So we made purchases and decisions to support all students um, in that regard. So I wanna just welcome you to the space. Um, we are always trying to meet the needs of the students and ask them what it is that they are wanting and needing and try to do our best in being able to fulfill that. Um, so I encourage you to walk around, go visit special collections. We have um, colleagues up there as well as students who um, have spent the last month preparing exhibits for you. Um, and we do have some fun exhibits up there. We have Lincoln's hair. So if you want to go look at Lincoln's hair, um, we also have a polyglot that is a Bible that was um, created by the printing press that is in four different languages. And a unique fact about that item is that the printing, the printer would have had to know all four of those languages, but also know them backwards, because when they put it in the printing press, 
he or she would have to do it backwards. So it's a wonderful um, piece of our um, Christian history, but also an amazing piece of art. So um, please feel free to go and take a look at that. So welcome to our new space. This is your space. Um, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you, Danielle. And as you can tell, we're very excited to have the comments here for our students and the impact it will have in their lives. We're also excited because the opening of the commons marks the successful conclusion of the Campus for Tomorrow Capital Campaign, the largest fundraising initiative in St. Mary history. So thanks to the generosity of many of you, as well as other alumni and friends of St. Mary, the Campus for Tomorrow campaign raised more than $14 million and led to several academic and structural advancements on our main campus, including remodeling of the St. Joseph Dining Hall, the creation of the Charles J. Burkle Memorial Stadium, the renovation of Miege Hall Science Labs, and more. So it truly takes a village to achieve something as remarkable as this, and I want to take some time to recognize some special people who helped make the vision of the Kelleher Learning Commons and the Campus for Tomorrow campaign a reality. So first, I want to thank Archbishop Kelleher. Thank you. <laughs> for being a dear, dear friend of St. Mary and our students. I also want to thank Sister Constance Phelps and the Sisters of Charity Leavenworth. And I know you're all throughout the room, so thank you. <laughs> thank you for your dedicated support of St. Mary and its mission. I want to thank the members of the Board of Trustees. We have Raleigh, Alan is here, if you can raise your hands. Joe was here, I think he still might be here, he's over here. Uh, Sister Jean. And is there any other board of trustee that I miss? Sister Eileen. Sister Eileen? Yep. So thank you for your leadership and lending your time, talent, and your treasures to our university. And we also want to thank the estate of Charles Burkle, the estate of Mariana Grotefend, the estate of Helen Corcoran, Charles and Carolyn Kellogg, and the Goppert Foundation. Joyce Underwood and Bridget May, and everyone else who gave so generously to our campaign, thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. We also want to recognize and thank the people that, that built this and made this possible. So a special thank you to Kevin Hallback and Hallback and Associates for designing such a wonderful space for us. And to our very own Jonathan Kirby, the Director of Plant Operations. Jonathan, thanks for keeping everything and everyone on track. And I understand, if, right, if this project was on time and a little under budget. So kudos to you, right? <laughs> we also want to thank Danielle, the entire KLC staff, and all of the St. Mary faculty and staff members for all that you do for our, our students. Oh. <laughs> Also, Dr. Brian LeBeau for keeping history alive. So as Danielle mentioned, the LeBeau Special Collections are on the second floor. So take some time to take a look at that. And also with us today, we have Mike Griswold, the Leavenworth County uh, City Commissioner. So Mike. So thank you all for being here and for making this possible. We could not have done it without you. And the impact of this will be felt for generations of students to come. So thank you. So now, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's my pleasure to introduce Sister Diane, the president of the University of St. Mary. She will lead the blessing. Thank you all. And um, just as it takes many people to build this, to recreate this, it takes many of us to pray. So I'd like to begin by offer asking um, our chaplain and my classmate from the class of 83, Father Bill, to give our opening prayer. First of all, I just want to recognize that this was built as a place of learning, keeping up with the latest truths. For instance, the Chiefs and the Titans are tied at 13 each. <laughs> uh, 
Oh God, we thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. And we thank you for all those who have brought us to this day the many generations of Sisters of Charity and their co-workers, and for our many benefactors and friends who have made our library collections possible, which has served so many students. We thank you for those who built this marvelous building, giving space for students to learn now for more than a quarter century. And we thank you for those, dear God, who have made the transformation of this space possible to serve the next generations of students. We thank you, dear God, for our good shepherd and friend, Archbishop Kelleher, his kindness and his desire to serve and his own years of teaching students now graces this place with his name and his legacy. May we all today join St. Mary and give glory to you, O God, and thank you and praise you for your many, many blessings. Through St. Mary's Son we pray. Amen. 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 Very nice. And we'll now have our reading from Philippians. A 
A reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians. I give thanks to my God at every remembrance of you, praying always with joy in my every prayer for all of you, because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right that I should think this way about all of you, because I hold you in my heart, you who are all partners with me in grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value, so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. I can only echo the words of St. Paul. I give thanks to my God at every remembrance of you. We give thanks always. My mother, we lost her two years ago. But she was famous for saying to us, do you know how blessed you are? The right answer was yes, mom. <laughs> but do you know how blessed you are? Yes, mom. And as she grew older and older, she grew more and more grateful. She was forever saying, oh, how blessed I am. Oh, thank God, I am so blessed. And it came from her heart. She had a deep, deep sense of gratitude. And if I can learn to be half that grateful, because as she became more grateful, her heart expanded, and there was room for everyone in her heart. And it's that deep sense that each one of us is a child of God, and each one of us is dependent on Almighty God and each other, and that we only know our gracious God in and through the care we have of each other and our love for each other. So for those of you who helped make this place, from designing it to building it, to thinking it through to donating, thank you. Thank you. You have changed the lives of our students. You have created a space where we can learn and collaborate. And I have to tell you the truth. I would have never thought of this. I'm old fashioned. I like straight chairs and books. I never would have had hammocks and rolly chairs. <laughs> So thank you, Danielle, for your vision and bringing us into the 21st century and providing a place for our students to learn like this. Someone asked me why our picture of the Archbishop is not in his formal regalia with his formal red or in his mitre. And I said, oh no, that's not our arch gem. Our arch gem is the picture that's on the front of this cover. Our arch gem is the one who makes our students feel comfortable, loved, and cared for. Our Arch Gym is our shepherd. And so Arch Gym, thank you. Thank you for being here for our students and for each of us. And I now ask us you to join as we offer our prayers to the faithful. For Archbishop Kelleher, shepherd of God's people, in thanksgiving for his faithfulness and friendship, for his support and encouragement, for his belief in the students and mission of St. Mary, and for his presence with us here today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the Sisters of Charity of Leavenworth, founders and sponsors of St. Mary, in thanksgiving for their commitment to Christian education and to the work of the university, and for the many ways they support the mission, goals, and activities of all of St. Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all our St. Mary board members, donors, and alums who share time, talent, and treasure with St. Mary in thanksgiving for their dedication and support and for their goodness and generosity to our students and the university. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all St. Mary faculty, staff, and administration who work tirelessly to instruct and support all students and thanksgiving for their commitment to helping students meet their God-given potential and to preparing them for value-centered lives and careers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all St. Mary's students working hard to get an education and to find purpose and meaning in their lives. In thanksgiving for their presence here on campus and for the many gifts they bring and share with the St. Mary community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who had a hand in preparing and creating this new space here in the Kelleher Learning Commons, from the maintenance crew to the construction workers, in thanksgiving for their time, care, hard work, and expertise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask you to hear these prayers and all the prayers in the silence of our heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I would now invite the students who are participating in the blessing to come forward.
sister. I know when I told sister uh, one of the things that I find to be especially unique with what goes on in this university is the individual care that the teachers, that the professors shower upon all the students. They, they, they are challenged, but they are encouraged more than anything else. And that makes them a success. And that success makes this university very, very successful. And I commend you, sister. You have done an unbelievable job. How many years did you take over? 19. 19? Oh my God. That's wonderful. <laughs> but but she, she has brought this to a whole new level. And it's only going to continue to get better and better. God bless you. May you be many years with this university. Thank you all for coming. Please eat. It's part of our tradition. You must eat. And I want to thank David and his choir and Danny. Thank you. This is just a sneak preview of what they can do. Um, they have, we have our Founders Day concert tonight at 7 in the chapel, so please join us as well. So this is just a sneak preview, and thank you for coming out twice in one day. So please enjoy, please eat, and let us celebrate some more.